Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Today we will go into paper 4 from May-June 2008, question 8. This question was in application of chemistry, the session B of paper 4 before 2016. So from 2016 onwards, protein is now in organic chemistry under nitrogen compound. So this question wants us to use suitable diagram to show the type of bonding that occur in primary, secondary, and tertiary structure of protein. So in primary structure of protein, amino acids were linked together to give us a long chain polymer with peptide bond. So we have to show peptide bond in the diagram. So peptide bond is a type of covalent bond. So there will be carboxylic acid from one of the amino acids. So it will remove OH in order to form peptide bond with the amine of another amino acid. So this is the general structure of one amino acid with C double bond O bonded to a carbon that bonded to hydrogen and an R group. Then this carbon will be bonded to another amine. So this amine will remove its hydrogen to form bond with another amino acid. So this is another amino acid and we will form peptide bond with another amino acid with the same general structure. So this will link with another amino acid. So you could actually see this continue to give us a long chain primary structure of protein. So from here, you could actually see each amino acid will give us a general structure with a backbone that we could see, NCC, NCC. So we will have N, where the hydrogen is bonded to the N, nitrogen, and we will have C double bond O from the carboxylic acid functional group. So this is the primary structure of protein and this primary structure could coil or fold to give us the secondary structure. So if they coil this way, we will call this as alpha helix and if they fold this way, we call it as beta plated sheets. So how they actually coil and fold like this is because the backbone of this primary structure with hydrogen that bonded to nitrogen and we have C double bond O with the oxygen here so they could form hydrogen bond. So for this question to go, we can either draw the alpha helix or the peta plated. So let's see how we could actually draw the peta plated. We can actually show one C C N, or we can have another. This will be the C double bond O, and this will be the R and the H, and this could be the. NH. So we have the lone pair from the oxygen. It could actually form hydrogen bond 
with another hydrogen that bonded to N from the backbone to have another NCC. So maybe we can go take away this, then we can have H and R, and then here we could have another O. So these are the hydrogen bonds that form between the H, the bonded to the N, and the C double bond O, where the oxygen with the lone pair. So the rest we could actually use dotted line to indicate. So maybe we could have another one here, N, H, so this we can have double bond O, this will be another NH, so this is another hydrogen bond. So this is the hydrogen bond from backbone to backbone. So this secondary structure could fall more to have more interaction. So where the interaction come from the R group, which is a side chain of the amino acids. So we can have four different kind of interaction for a side chain to side chain, but they only need two to get the two marks. So to draw that, they fall more, so we can just draw any of these, as long as we have space to show the four types of interaction from side chain to side chain. So where we could have when the was was from the side chain with our group, so this is when the was. We could also have disulfide, where it is from the amino acids, named cysteine. So we can actually show the CH2 or without showing the CH2 where we have the bonding from the sulfur and sulfur. This gives us a disulfide link. So any of these two will give us the two marks for this tertiary structure. So we could actually have another one here which is hydrogen bonding. So we have NH2 as a branching with the lone pair. So this will give us a hydrogen bonding. And next, we can actually have ionic bond. So ionic bond, we need charges. So the negative can come from the COO minus and the positive can come from the NH3 positive. So this is an ionic bond. So any of these interaction from the side chain to side chain, as long as we give two, we'll get a two marks here. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the mark scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genius got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.